Okay guys, so on the left side there is my little kitchenette. And you see there is the burner, the sort of one single stove burner. And then over here you have my fire extinguisher. You've got my carbon monoxide detector. And if you go to the right over here on the passenger side, side door, this is where I typically have started sort of doing my cooking. In this case here, I'm just going to boil some water. I'm gonna make some tea. And I got a nice view of the outside. And more importantly, I've got some really good ventilation going. Now it is winter time, but I've got my diesel heater running. And right there is my current diesel heater setup. What I usually do is I just take this and place it there. And there it is. And as much as possible, I'm very cautious about clearances. And in many cases, I ensure that I've got enough clearance. Now, I'm only gonna be using a small uh, kettle and I'm gonna be heating, heating up, rather boiling some water with it. And right here is where I keep my kettle. It's got its own little spot there. I open it up a bit so that if I do have some water in there left over, I just throw it in there that way it's not going all over the place when I drive and well you look at that there is some water in there and part of it is frozen I'm just wondering I'm just wondering should I have coffee or should I have tea. Should I have coffee? How about noodles? No, I don't think I'm going to have any noodles. I don't feel like noodles today. You know what? Um, it's about 11 o'clock. You know what? I think, I think I'll have coffee. It'll be, my second, it'll be my second coffee for today. So I think I'll have coffee. So what are, we're going to use a pour over like one of these. I got this for I think about $10 from, from Amazon. Okay, we're gonna take this and we're gonna put some more water in there. Okay, so we're boiling some water and basically we wait until it boils, which isn't too long, especially with a butane stove. Okay guys, mission may not be close to being accomplished just because it looks like I'm running out of butane and I don't know if I have any more so I may not end up having any coffee but you know what I can try to do I'm gonna find out if I have any butane that I stored away at the back there because I seem to remember I think I had one or two one canister I think so I'm gonna go check okay get ready for some really shaky video work here so this is the back of the van and I don't ever remember a video of me taking a video of the, of the van, of the back of the van. So this is what it looks like. And what I did was I kept the back seat and I have all these amazing pillows to keep me comfy. I'm gonna have to take that out. Well, let me try this, okay. There you go, that's one. Oh, look, there's my uh, little shower that I use. Not good. Hold on. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I had to dig everything out and right back there is a canister so we could use that. And this is one part about like a minivan because it is so tiny. You pretty much have to put everything back. Otherwise you're going to be crawling all over it. So 
I'm going to clean that, clean that up. And there we go. It's tidier now. Let's get back to this. So the first thing I'm going to do is, it's obviously this canister is done. Um, I could wait for it to completely go out, but I sort of kind of don't want to do that. I mean, it's literally on its last leg. So I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to replace it with this one here. Turn it off. There we go. Hear that? Pop that like that. Take this and I'm going to place it here. And now we have this. What I'm going to do is just pop this open like that. And that's where the canister goes. And the way these work is there's a release mechanism and you sort of see it right and there. And this release mechanism you literally just sort of put your, it goes like this. It, it pops open like this. Oh, it's kind of dirty there, but it pops open like this and then you take out the canister. I'm going to need two hands for this, so I'm going to put down the camera. And there I go. So I took it out and that's what it looks like and I'm just going to take it and I'm going to dispose of it properly. And then the other one, the new this one, one, this is the new one, and it's got the little red top. You take that off and you do the reverse of what you did. You, you literally just sort of thread it through. There's a little part there that you thread through and then you put down that latch and then you're ready to go. So I'm going to do that. And just take note of this little notch at the top of the canister that matches up to this latch. And that's where it goes, okay? Pretty straightforward stuff. And there's our canister, and there's our latch that goes into the notch. And then what happens is when we press this down, this one here, this latch, another notch, it engages the canister, and then we can then turn it on. So similar to what you saw earlier with in the in the video. And there we go. Okay then, our water is boiled. And so one of the first things I do is I'm gonna put it in a safe area. I'm gonna place it at the bottom here, okay? And I'm gonna put away this little stove. You know, I guess I could also close the door now. There we go. And there I go. There's where I keep my filters. Filter like this. Okay. Need to get some coffee. And oh, look at that. Don't have a whole lot left. This should be okay. Go. And I'm just going to I'm not gonna measure it out. I already know how much I want. I want strong. There we go. this back. 